Kevin's heart was so big and the fact that all these people are here, it's, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Um, he would be, I don't know if he'd be embarrassed or thrilled. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> A Chicago man known for his role in the movie School of Rock is being remembered tonight after a tragic accident. Kevin Clark was getting back into the music scene just before his death. Anthony Ponce is live with reaction tonight. Anthony. Yeah, Dawn and Corey, I spoke with his mother a short time ago who said that his most recent band had just performed their first gig last weekend and that Kevin was feeling super excited about their prospects for success before the tragic news came this morning that her son had been killed uh, while riding his bike by a car. So young and so full of life. and. For this to happen. Allison Clark, the mother of 32 year old Kevin Clark, best known by the public as one of the stars of the hit movie School of Rock, where he played drummer Freddie Jones. But that's almost an afterthought to those who knew him best. Everybody knows him as Freddie Jones. You know, I feel like it's going to be this, oh, the star of, you know, of School of Rock, Freddie Jones. But that's not him. You know, he was Kevin Clark. Kevin Clark, who had never acted before the movie, was cast for his talent on the drums, which he started playing as a toddler. Two or three? Two or three years Pots old. Pots and pans. Pots and pans for his third or fourth birthday. He got like a little kid set type of thing. And he just kept going and going and going. There's not a single musician in this area that didn't know who Kevin Clark was or, or, or hadn't played with him in a musical capacity. Police say around 1.20 this morning, right near the corner of Western Avenue and Logan Boulevard in Avondale, Clark was hit by a car and killed while riding his bike. Tonight in Highwood, where he'd perform weekly, his family and dozens of his friends came out to Teddy O'Brien's in his honor. Music was his life, completely, I mean really, completely his life plus the Cubs and the Bears. His mom says he managed a Starbucks so that he could play music at night with his most recent band, Jess Bess and the Intentions. He was living his best life, you know, as cliche as that was. He was super happy, you know, he was doing everything that he wanted to be doing. Musically, he was fulfilled. And I, I mean, he was just this ray of sunshine whenever he walked into a room. And Clark's death, this was not a hit and run. We still don't know much about the circumstances that led to the collision between the car and his bike, but police tell us they cited the 20-year-old driver, but she was not arrested. We are live tonight in North Suburban Highwood. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32 News.